As the Florida and Georgia summer heats up, UV rays can put your eyes at risk. The World Health Organization estimates 20% of cataracts across the world may be caused by overexposure to UV radiation. And as we recognize National Cataract Awareness Month, Jacksonville optometrist Dr. Kimberly Reardon with Florida Eye Specialist joins us to talk about lowering your risk. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for coming on. So listen, we are out and about. We've got those long days. The sun is up early and it <laughs> sets really late. So that means a lot of exposure to sunshine. Let's talk about UV rays and how they affect our eyes. Absolutely. The UV is strong, as we know, here in Florida, and we're jumping in the summer months. I actually have an eye model here to help demonstrate what I'm trying to talk about. One of the things that we want to protect the eyes with are sunglasses. It's easy to put those on, and there's many reasons. That sunlight can penetrate from the front of the eye all the way to the back of the eye. So the first thing we think of is our eyelids. Skin cancer is very common along the eyelids, and it's hard to appropriately put sunscreen in that area. We can't get all the way up to the eyelashes. So that's a common place where we can get skin cancer, sorry. Another place that we worry about is the front surface of the eye. So you see the white covering, the sclera is covered by conjunctiva and that tissue can be affected by UV rays. Most specifically, UVB is what we worry about, damaging the tissue of the front of the eye. That can degenerate and cause what we call pinguecula. And those can grow over the cornea here, that clear covering, and cause pterygiums. Those are usually benign. However, we worry about cancer developing on the front of the eye as well. So if you're noticing a new spot on the surface of the eyelid, or the eyeball, make sure you call your eye doctor or call Florida Eye Specialist. We're happy to see you. Then moving into the front of the eye, we worry about cataracts forming. The eye is like a camera, it has a lens, and that lens can get cloudy over time. UV exposure accelerates the rate of the cataract growth. And it can even penetrate all the way to the back of the eye, to the retina, which is like the wallpaper on the inner part of the eye. And we worry about things like macular degeneration. Absolutely. A big concern there. So let's get to the basics. What are the signs of a cataract? So cataracts can have many, many signs. Most people will experience blurry or cloudy vision. They may notice double vision out of one eye. They may notice that colors aren't as distinct as they used to be, or they start to notice, hey, I'm changing my glasses or my contact lens prescription an awful lot more than I used to. Mm. Okay, so, uh, you know, we hear about cataracts in older people. What about younger people, children, teenagers, young adults? Absolutely. So when we think of cataracts, oftentimes we think it's just older adults, which is true. We do see it more commonly in those 65 years and older. However, we can be born with them in which we term those congenital cataracts and we can develop them at any point in our life for various reasons. The top three most common reasons are trauma. We can develop traumatic cataracts if we're hit in the eye. We can develop them from certain medications. There's drug class of cortical steroids, which are known to create more of an aggressive type of cataract that can grow more quickly than an age-related one. And then underlying health conditions, such as diabetes or high blood pressure. All right, let's get to what's probably the most important part. What are the simple things that we can do to protect our eyes? Because, you know, no offense, but we don't want to go through long treatments, <laughs> you know, with, with our eye doctors. We want to, you know, prevent this before it gets out of hand. What do we need to do? Prevention is key. Sunglasses, especially wraparound sunglasses, because light can still creep in at an angle. So also wear wide brim hats. Make sure you wear your sunscreen as well. And if you're going swimming, make sure you have your goggles. All right, absolutely. So very important things there, especially for us down here in Florida and Georgia, where we are just out and about. We're enjoying it, whether you're at the pool, the lake, the river, the beach. There is sun all around us, so protect yourself. Dr. Kimberly Reardon, thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate you.